I wasn't an, an attorney prior to the internet age, which mm -hmm. really kind of began, I guess, in, in full thrust in the 90s. Yeah. But adverse possession, the law hasn't changed a whole lot. And the statutory time prescriptions and requirements haven't really changed probably at all for decades and decades, probably mm -hmm. centuries. But I would imagine pre-internet, establishing a claim for adverse possession for that period of time was pretty difficult or and maybe proving the facts to do that. I think it's getting a lot easier with things like satellite imagery and the, the ease and the ability to access county assessor's records that are providing for free satellite imagery. I think of times where I've represented individuals on adverse possession where it's like, you know, one key indicator early on, was there a road going across your property? Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Nowadays, you know, the internet's been around long enough and satellite imagery's around long enough. It's not hard to go look at a property 10 years back. And if that road's going across, it's, it's probably, you, you, you've, you've probably gone along a lot of the way you need to do to prove that case. Are you finding that technology has made it easier in that regard to prove cases for adverse possession? Oh, a hundred. Well, so I should, I should preface this by saying in, in the Valley, so in the greater Phoenix metropolitan area in Tucson, like Maricopa County, Maricopa County, Pima County. Um, absolutely. Yes. Because we don't have forestry. Right. And so you can get your aerial shot and you can see often all four corners of a particular parcel. Right. When I moved to Georgia and started practicing out there and we had an adverse possession issue come up, I went and grabbed satellite imagery. We got trees everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All trees. you see is branches. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I mean, boundary disputes are not going to be resolved with satellite imagery in a, in a place like Georgia or even northern Arizona right where you've got where you've got a lot of forestry so so it depends but yes i mean to your point we had we had an issue not too long ago um, about a year or so ago and the the issue was whether um a, a particular part of um a commercial property had been um had been blocked off right uh and and sort of siloed off it was a it was a parking lot and 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 the issue was all right did they sort of reserve these parts of the parking lot for their own use and we were able to show through satellite imagery you could see where they had put a big chain link uh, uh just a, a um a chain across two posts and and in the satellite Im imagery you could actually see the shadow being cast onto the ground of that chain link um, and, and we could establish, and you could see that it went all the way back more than 10 years. And, and so that was, um, by and large dispositive of that, of that issue. So it absolutely can, um, can essentially, um, resolve the use issue, right? Do we actually have the use for, or the, you know, whatever the, uh, the physical, um, intervention onto that property? Does it actually go back 10 years? And oftentimes the satellite imagery will resolve that particular issue. And so you're only left with the remaining, um, you know, the remaining elements of, of adverse possession.